Hello and welcome to my video uh, where I'm going to basically just tell you why I think everybody should be learning how to code, why you should get into software development. What if I told you that you could understand technology, you could work from anywhere in the world, and you could get paid pretty well to do that, but you just need to know one particular skill? Would you be interested in hearing me out? Now that's actually a rhetorical question because yeah, you probably are interested in hearing me out. People who aren't interested probably haven't made it this far in the video anyways. Now, naturally, that one skill is learning to code. And a lot of people feel overwhelmed, they don't know where to start, but honestly, the truth is, anybody can do it. You just need a little bit of guidance and a little bit of commitment, but again, anybody can do it. The nice thing is, you don't have to be a superhero. You don't need to be super good looking or in perfect health. You don't need to be the smartest person in the world. Heck, you don't even need to be the smartest person in the room. And the nice thing about learning to code is, you can actually start today. The only thing that's really holding you back from learning how to code is you. So let's talk about the very first benefit. And this is in no particular order, this is just the first one that sort of comes to mind, is career growth and personal growth. Now there are tons of jobs out there in web development and software development of every flavor and variety. And the nice thing about that is there's so much demand that it's easy to get into, but Further than that is if you ever get into a company, and you've probably already experienced this, but if you get into a company where everything looks good and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, these people aren't who they said they are, or you feel stuck at your company like you can't get out, and you like what you do, you just maybe want to change the company, maybe get paid better, uh, maybe make a slight career change instead of you know doing front-end web development, maybe you want to get into back-end web development. The nice thing about that is there's so much demand and so much opportunity out there that moving from one company to another company is really easy. And in this industry, it's somewhat expected to be completely honest. Now, when it comes to personal growth, software development, AKA learning how to code, it comes with its own set of cognitive challenges. And by that, what I mean is it comes with mental problems. It's all in your brain. Now, the nice thing is these problems are not super hard. Generally, they're fairly generic problems, but they're just unique to a particular client. And the problem itself is, again, not very hard, but there are quite a few of them. And that turns off a lot of people. But the nice thing about it is it keeps your brain really sharp. It keeps your brain healthy. And lastly, you can do freelance work from pretty much anywhere in the world and you can get paid pretty well to do it. Now, that's not necessarily personal growth. However, it does allow you to live a happier, fuller life. The next point is it strengthens your logical thinking. Logical thinking is, to me, it's the superpower of the 21st century. Well, we all know that logical thinking is important. Being able to take one problem and break it down into smaller pieces, it's super, super important. But nobody really understands that today's world revolves around technology and data-driven decisions. And behind data-driven decisions, well, comes logical thinking. Why are we doing certain things? Why are we not doing certain things? Why are we building certain features? Why are we not building certain features? Why are we trying to move a particular industry forward or not try to move it forward? All of these different questions really comes down to logical thinking. Now, the nice thing about strengthening your logical thinking is it grows your ability to solve problems. And yes, everybody can solve problems, but if you can really solve problems, if you are really good at logical thinking and problem solving, well, that's another skill that is constantly in demand in every single industry. Any industry you're in, you need to be able to solve problems. And one of the best ways to shape your problem solving abilities is to learn how to code. And that's because it'll help you break down, again, that larger problem, and you'll be able to make it smaller and smaller. And then you can take that small piece and create a very creative solution where maybe someone else didn't see something. Maybe it was overlooked. Maybe the timing wasn't right. You can apply these creative solutions you come up with to these very small problems, and you can all of a sudden start building something really big. You know, you see those Lego sets, like the Millennium Falcon with 20,000 pieces. Well, that's built piece by piece, one at a time. And software development is, it's just like that. The entire world, in fact, is just like that. Everything is built up of smaller pieces. Another skill, and this one is going to scare some people, but another skill is 
interpersonal skills. So learning to code, believe it or not, actually has a lot to do with other people. And a lot of people, they want to get into web development or software development because they think, I don't have to deal with people anymore, and that's exactly what I want. And that will get you fairly far, but it will only get you so far. And at a certain point in time, you are going to have to work with people because behind that computer screen that you're typing on is another person. It's actually probably a team of people and you're going to have to work with them. If that worries you, hold on because it shouldn't worry you. The nice thing about learning how to code, the nice thing about learning software development is these skills, these interpersonal skills, they build up over time and you don't even notice that they happen. For example, working with your colleagues, your friends, or even just your regular peers will make you a better communicator. You have to be able to get your ideas across and it just starts off with friends and family and eventually grows into working at a company and organization and eventually your communication skills, they just, they get better and you don't even notice it. And as you're working on projects with other people, another really strong benefit here, and again, you don't even notice this is happening, is that all of a sudden you become a leader. You just sort of slowly glide into that leadership role and you don't even notice it happening. One day you're just working on a project with a bunch of people and all of a sudden, you know, your whole team's coming to you and asking you if we should do A or B and you have an opinion on it. And then you say, well, you know, path A is gonna take you this way and it's not exactly what we want. So maybe we should go down path B and that counts as leadership. And all of a sudden you have a group of people who are taking your expertise as their expertise and you're able to lead them down the right path. And the last thing is, with your ability to code and apply solutions to real life problems, it's going to build up your confidence. Now, please don't discount this. This is really important because as you build up your confidence in coding, it builds up your confidence in every other piece of your life. And all of a sudden, your life is being improved. You don't notice it. These are just things that happen in the background. You just want to learn how to code, maybe make some more money, make a better career choice, but these things are happening in the background. And lastly, you'll be able to build your own idea. Now, I know everybody has at least a million dollar idea. If you're watching this video, chances are you probably have a few of them or maybe even a billion dollar idea. Maybe you've seen an app and it wasn't very good and you thought you could improve it. Or maybe you have an idea and you know what? The app just doesn't exist. For whatever reason, it just does not exist. Well, learning to code, it's not the holy grail. It's not going to give you a billion dollar startup overnight. But if you want to be able to make your own apps, your own websites, build your own vision, learning to code is going to get you pretty much 95% of the way there. It's going to get you so close to your vision, you can practically taste it. Now, the nice thing about that is you don't have to be reliant on anybody else. You can do it all yourself, which is very fulfilling, might I remind you, but you don't have to rely on anybody else. You don't have to hire anybody. You don't have to have a huge savings account and you don't have to outsource any of your code to another country or another dev somewhere in the world that you know, maybe you don't know exactly what they're doing. The nice thing about this is you're able to build your house. You don't have to buy a house. You're building your house and that is extremely rewarding and fulfilling. So those are just a few points about why I think everybody should learn how to code. Even if you're not in the industry, even if you just want to know a little bit about coding, all of these subjects, all of these little points that I was talking about can help you improve your life drastically. Even if it's just understanding how technology works, that can often help make a, a, a better career. It can help basically increase how much you're getting paid as a salary or an hourly wage. It just helps you understand that, you know, when you're using Facebook and it crashes, well, you can go, hmm, why did it crash? Oh, okay, well, there was a memory issue. And you can sort of dissect it from there. And we all know life is fairly hard for most people. It's, it's somewhat of a struggle and understanding technology and how it actually works, well, that just makes life a lot easier. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions, don't forget, you can leave them down below. And if you have any sort of feedback or ideas for uh, anything else, maybe I missed something, just let me know. Maybe you don't like this presentation style. You know what? Leave that feedback down below. I would love to hear about it so that I can make better videos for you. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.